Hey everyone, so the first thing that we're going to do is start off with our eyeshadow base and I'm using the NYX HD eyeshadow base and eye primer and then I'm just going to rub that in all across my lids and don't forget to do the uh, lower lid as well, so just underneath the eye. And then after that, we're going to start out with a base. I'm using the Maybelline 24-Hour Eye Tattoo in Barely Branded, and I'm just going to apply that right over top of where we put the NYX base. Then I'm taking a red eyeshadow. It's that swatch on the right. And I'm going to use sort of an angled brush and apply this in sort of a cut crease style to my crease. Um, the reason I'm using this style of brush as opposed to a blending brush is because I want the color to be really concentrated in my crease. You don't have to go so crazy where it's so neat like a cut crease, but um, I do want it to be more concentrated in my crease and not go any higher than that. So I'm just applying that red shade all along my crease area and don't be afraid to sort of take your time with this step. It took me quite some time because I wanted to make sure it was quite precise. So I'm just doing that. And then, of course, I'm going to do the same thing to the other eyelid. And just make sure that your um, eyes match up. So make sure you have the same shape on both eyes. Now I'm just going to zoom you in. And you can see a better look of what I did here. So the color is quite diffused in the crease. So it's not, like I said, exactly a cut crease. But it is very concentrated in that crease area. Now I'm going to take a lighter pink color and I'm going to use a fluffier brush and blend this right over top of where I use that red shade. So basically what this is going to do is blend everything out really nicely. It's going to diffuse that red color and make a really nice gradient into the sort of upper brow area. So I'm doing that on both sides as well. Then I am taking the BH Cosmetics Sun Eyeshadow, and this is from their uh, Galaxy Chic Palette. This is just one of the shadows. It's a sample. And I'm spraying my brush with water after I get that color on my brush. And this is just going to make that sun color really, really intense. I really like doing um, my eyeshadow this way in this style, sort of wetting the brush and then applying it. It makes the color really, really foiled looking and metallic and it's just gorgeous. So I'm applying that onto the lid area right where there's open space. Then I'm taking that blending brush again and just going back and forth just to make sure everything is well blended. And then of course doing that again on my other eye. And now I'm taking a clean blending brush and I'm going to just blend out the edges just to make sure everything is nice and faded well. Again doing that to the other eye as well. Now I'm going back in with that sun color on my lower lash line and I'm just applying it right underneath there. And again, do the same thing to the other eye. And now it's time for the fun part, the glitter. I'm taking a little bit of a glitter liner, this is by e.l.f., onto my uh, finger. And then I'm applying that onto the inner corners of both of my eyelids. And next I'm going to take a nude liner. This is the Rimmel London Nude Eyeliner Pencil. And apply that to my waterline. And then I'm going to curl my lashes. This is just so I have a nice curl when I apply mascara. And the mascara that I'm using is the... M Cosmetics Mascara. And I'm going to apply a really generous coat of this mascara to my lashes, both top and bottom.
And then I'm applying a black eyeliner. I'm using the NYX Slide on Glide On Liner. And I'm going to use this to tight line, which is just to line sort of the upper lash line area. And because I forgot to do this earlier, I'm going to highlight. This is Makeup Geek's Beaches and Cream. And I'm just applying that to my brow bone area. And then finally comes lips. I'm using Nivea's Kiss of Cherry, which is a really pretty, like, tinted red lip balm. I really like it. And that is the finished look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!